Barack Obama jokes around with Prince Harry as he's questioned for the Royals' guest editing slot on Radio 4's Today program. Prince Harry has interviewed Barack Obama for BBC Radio 4's Today program. The interview is part of Harry's guest editorship of the program and features the former U.S. president sharing his memories of the day he left office and his hopes for his post-presidential life. Kensington Palace said the interview was recorded in Toronto in September during the Invictus Games and will be broadcast on December 27. Today tweeted a video clip showing Harry and Mr. Obama warming up ahead of the chat, with the former president joking, Do I need a British accent? Harry told his interviewee that if he used long pauses between answers he would probably get the face. When Harry showed him what he meant, Mr. Obama said, I don't want to see that face. Harry also admitted to feeling a few jitters, telling his friend, You were excited about this. I'm nervous about this. That's what's quite funny. It's fun, Mr. Obama replied. I'll interview you if you want. No, no, let's keep it this way. Harry replied, I'd much prefer that. The palace said the conversation features Mr. Obama talking about his plans to focus on cultivating the next generation of leadership through the Obama Foundation. Harry who was recently at the inaugural summit of the Obama Foundation in Chicago, has forged a strong bond with the Obamas, through his work with servicemen and his trips to America. At this year's Invictus Games, Mr. Obama reportedly quizzed Harry on his romance with Meghan Markle as they watched the wheelchair basketball. Mr. Obama was among those to congratulate Harry and Meghan on their engagement, writing on Twitter, Michelle and I are delighted to congratulate Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on their engagement. We wish you a lifetime of joy and happiness together. Prince Harry and Barack Obama have struck up a firm friendship, and the royal was one of the many high-profile guests at the former U.S. President's first Obama Foundation summit in October. The 33-year-old was photographed sitting in the audience at the two-day event held at the Marriott Marquis McCormick Place in Chicago, Illinois one row behind Obama and his wife, former First Lady Michelle Obama. Obama enjoyed a hugely successful state visit to the UK in 2011, when he and his family stayed with the Queen. Harry then struck up a rapport with Michelle Obama who he teamed up with on a number of initiatives, including offering his support to her campaigns for girls' education and better support for military families. But he didn't meet her husband until October 2015 when the royal visited the White House for a meeting to promote the Invictus Games. At the time, Obama warmly welcomed the prince, saying, I've had an opportunity to spend a lot of time with so many of his family members, but this is the first time that we had a chance to talk directly. He has gotten to know Michelle very well, for a range of reasons, but in particular, he's here to talk about the Invictus Games, an initiative that is bringing together wounded warriors around the world, under the leadership of Prince Harry and others, to make sure that we see not simply the sacrifices they've made, but also the incredible contributions, strength and courage they continue to display. And so we are very glad to support the Invictus Games. Michelle and myself are interested in promoting it. The president also went out of his way to thank the prince for his own military service. He has twice seen action in Afghanistan once as a forward air controller with a cavalry regiment, and then as an Apache attack helicopter pilot. We want to thank His Royal Highness for his own service in Afghanistan alongside our outstanding American troops, he said. It is a testament to the special relationship, the incredible bond that we share between our two countries, and that bond continues into the next generation of leadership that His Royal Highness represents. So we're very grateful for him not only for this specific work, but also for continuing to strengthen the deep, deep bonds between our two countries. When the Invictus Games was held in Florida last year the two men struck up a hilarious viral rivalry to publicize the competition, Harry playing the trump card by invoking his grandmother, the Queen to appear in a short skit with him. There was another opportunity to catch up in April last year when Barack and Michelle joined William, Kate and Harry at Kensington Palace, where they met Prince George. The pair also attended this year's Invictus Games in Toronto this year, and were seen laughing together as they cheered on the athletes at the wheelchair basketball event. An onlooker even reported hearing the former president asking Harry about Meghan Markle and whether she was enjoying the games. It's rumored that the Obamas will be on the guest list for the couple's wedding at Windsor Castle in May 2018, even if serving President Donald Trump does not get an invite. <laughs>